the recording. Oh, you can't see it, can you? No. Oh. Bother. You fool. I don't have eyes yet. Me fool? How about now? Yes. So Grayson, yes, we just took a little, did a little dinner break. Yeah. And now we're back on the grind, Grayson. This may or may not be the last episode. Hmm. Let's see then. Menace in the north, eh? Yeah, that's right. We haven't defeated them just yet. We haven't defeated Things them. just weren't right up in Canada. They just weren't Random right. Random acts of violence were Things popping up like right weeds, and the northern lights, well, they just weren't right. They weren't right. One night uh -huh. they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. Hmm. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Uh -huh. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. Oh, look out, Grayson. The Thievius Raccoonus makes talons. numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled oh. lumberjack like Besson could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah. Look Those at that talons thing. have got to go. Both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Alright, Grayson, it's just the brain and the claws. Brain and the claws. I think we can do them both at the same time. You know, the, the Sly Cooper and the gang, they've gotten pretty comfortable. You know, the last couple of jobs, they're really on a high right now, I think. That's true. Okay. We're doing pretty so well, we gathering so one many parts in one place. In one place. Oh, this guy stole a lot. And two, yeah, the that's only true. way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. But Ooh. before we do that, the we need to snag the clockwork talons off John Besson. Time is short, and we've got a lot to accomplish. Yeah, true, we do. true. But first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. Oh. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to oh, get yeah, my sensors photos. oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cave. You know, your it family. Now separated to two <laughs> smaller caves. Your family heirloom. Useful for ice climbing. Yeah, I so broke it, it modified to the top it. Of that sheet of ice. You know, Just don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, I uh, to tried to mess with it a little bit, see if it had any special powers, and I accidentally snapped it in half, so I uh, made uh, another claw. So watch this. And turned it into two. I turned it into two claws, Sly. Hey, don't worry, I upgraded it so you could fuse it's it back into one. Yeah, so it's well so in simple, Sly. Now scout the area. I could really use the also, don't get oh, mad at me, because I broke it. Don't get I mad. I made it better. I made, uh, I made it better. <laughs> I made it better. That's, that's, Relax. It's all part of the plan, Sly. Ooh. Too easy. Oh. Y'all got worried? Shh. Angry bear. This place is bear country, all right. Yeah, it is. Interesting. <laughs> He's putting out a slight radio signature. Yes. Excuse me? The bear. You know, the bear. Yeah. Did he swallow a radio? Oh, well, maybe. I don't know what happened, Grayson. Or maybe it's a machine. It's Ooh. a fake. Maybe. I couldn't tell you, Grayson. Maybe oh, they haven't kept the parachute. Yeah, I still have my parachute. Yeah. I can... I've had that since uh, the dark area. 
Wait, wait, hold on. Stop, guys. Excuse me a minute. Wait, let me get my recon first. Let me get my recon. Let me get my recon going. Boat? Fascinating. Fascinating. My sensors detect a, a Wi-Fi link to that boat. <laughs> it must be piloted by computer. Whoa. Wow, I would but, die. I mean, you could have just said they had a Wi-Fi router on it, so... Yeah, he could have said a lot of things, Grayson. Uh. Oh, those guys. Man, for being so out in the booties, this place has a lot of, like, internet access. A lot of technology, Sly. Lots of means of communication. That'll be great for when we destroy the ball grid yet still remain in contact with the outside world oh hey Grayson by the way yeah oh yeah that's okay. kind of weird isn't it huh well, what are you Man, gonna I hope do that's not foreshadowing hey Grayson <laughs> what do you mean I you hope that's not foreshadowing I hope that's not foreshadowing perhaps it is that some grand creature is going to end up on ice. It's already on ice. Those saw blades look particularly old. Yeah? I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. I That's... thought he was going to say something like, Oh, these saw blades are, resi are <laughs> resonating with the w uh, wavelength. Uh, these saw blades are actually using... Hyper X ray things. High frequency high fre radio to waves. cut them. Ow. Hmm. Your saw blades are actually a disguised radio tower. <laughs> Sly, you have to trust me. They They're... repurpose the, these radar dishes into saw blades. <laughs> Sly, you gotta trust me on this one. Wait, what am I taking a picture of over here? Oh, just that area? His house? I feel like I could have taken that anywhere. They could do right there, even. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Nope, really? Maybe you gotta be right in front of it. Maybe. Further away. Whoop. John Bisson's John Bahan's house. house. The lair of looks the like beast. a Bisson. The dead of evil. The epicenter of ecological destruction. Okay, Bentley. You can tone okay, it down. Okay, that should hey, do it. Uh, now we, for the we know who's the real epicenter of ecological destruction here. And try to yeah. find a way to sneak in. Oh, wow. <laughs> you skewered that man on the horn of that. <laughs> Oh, hey. Oh, he's back. He's back, and he's dead. And he chucked himself off. Man, that was like a movie scene right there. Both movie... <laughs> mo two movie villain endings on that one random enemy. Oh, yeah, I hate to see it, Grayson. There's the radio yeah. thing. Yeah. Ow. He's got his Spetsnaz shovel, look out. That's what I'm saying, Grayson. If I could get a Spetsnaz shovel, do you know how productive I'd be? Yeah. You could take on a thieving raccoonus. I could take on a thieving raccoonus. A damn raccoonus. Ragungus raccoonus. Going for the mungus. <gasps> I said the ancient words. Mungus. Mm, okay. Junkus, gunkus. We have to get in here somehow. I found a way in. This is the inside of something. So oh, that's the house. battery charger, charger. But where is the battery arpeggios coming to pick up? Where is the battery, Grayson? Oh, I wonder. Damn. Bison, move your fat ass. I was right. And bison. The entrance is barred from <laughs> the inside. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just a chair, Grayson. It's just a chair. Yeah. 
Yeah, you have to take a photo of the spinning thing too. Yep. God. Just yep, looking spinning. at that spinner, spinner yep. makes me dizzy. Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. Uh, yeah, might as well, right? While I'm here, sneak oh, up on him. Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, Jean. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. Oh. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm going to win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to like talk about these lumberjack games. Do a competition games. and win it from them. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps that's the plan, Grayson. We're simply going to... Well, guys, John Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. When the Clockwork Talons has a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, due to fools. frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. Wall chopping I'm guide. sure it will yeah. prove invaluable. Mm -hmm. Now we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. Ooh. However, the location okay. of the device is still a mystery. Where is we it, need some inside information. So working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Okay. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique sure. mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's okay. a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Oh. Let's get to work. Oh, Bentley, it isn't as bad as, all right, so we're gonna kidnap these bears, but it's not, it's still not on the level, I don't think. Or fill these hot air balloons with fuel for your explosive pack. Right. To open latch doors. Right. Yeah, what do you think we're gonna have to do to stop that uh, chair? We're gonna have to do something crazy to open up that chair. That's blocking the door. Yeah, we can't just get our big strong man to do it. Let me sneak away. Too easy. Oh, hey, Chief. It's personal now. Hey, hey, but what if you forget? What if I was over here? Hi, let's say wild bears in the area have been tagged with radio tracking devices. Oh. If you could snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array around Jean Bisson's house. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. The first step is That's crawling into wow. that bear That's cave and stealing the goods. CIA I'm on it. Well, you see, you see, Bentley, the CIA hired me as a, a local raccoon to do some of their bidding. I knew I couldn't trust you. <laughs> uh, guess what we have to do? The radio transmitters have all been watching. tagged in always. their mouths. In their You'll mouths? You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Uh -huh. Stay clear of the thin crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. Yep. I'll keep that in mind. Sir Grayson. Uh-huh. Can't step on the ice. Not even with your shadow step. Nope. Not even with my shadow jutsu. And then we simply must Yoink. steal their entire tooth. That's a massive, massive tooth transmitter. I agree. No, that's half their tooth too. Like that sharp part, that's a crown. Wow. Quickly. Nice. I don't know why I'm whispering. 
We're halfway there, though. Yeah, we're stealth it. That's why. Yeah. This is stealth mission. This is this stealth mission. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Stealth mission, bing bong, bing bong. Bing bong, 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 Stealth mission, bing bong. Is there anything else behind here? Nope. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Stealth mission, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Yoink. Yoink. One more. Man, I should become a dentist. How <laughs> easily and painlessly is taking out these grounds. He really should, or at least a veterinarian. Oh. Yeah. Terrible. Hold on. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Do you think a veterinarian would be here? Because these bears aren't people. And it's yeah. not like bears can't be people. In the fourth yeah. game, bears are people. You know? Yeah. Hey. Hey. There's bird people, and we've definitely seen bird birds. We've seen bird Only birds. Only you could have pulled and that bird off. people. Head outside, yeah. and I'll fill you in on the next step. Oh. That kind of scared me a little. It scared me too. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, it worked out. It worked out, Grayson. Look out. That was a room full of bears. Poor raccoon men would have been eaten. Alright, what are we gonna do? Before the receiver array, you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations uh -huh. around Jean Bisson's base of operations. Okay. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit Seems the circle enough. button to place the transmitter. Okay. Six of them. Gosh, Grayson. What Man. are we gonna do with six things? Five well, things is one thing, but six we things. We won't be triangulating, we'll be hexagulating. You know, Grayson, you got a good point, too. Not even following their own rules. Yeah. We're gonna put this tooth on this. <laughs> on that flower next to that tree. Yep. It's so simple, Grayson. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this game. So what have you thought of this game? We're wrapping it up. I think it's pretty neat. It's definitely, like, a, definitely an improvement on the... On, on the, the first formula, for sure. Yeah. You know, I have to agree. It's, it's changed. It changed a lot about, you know, the identity of this, and the next two games are gonna follow it up as well with uh, mm. basically this again. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, you can make an argument, but I'm not gonna make an argument. I mean, they already improved upon it once. So. Yeah, yeah. The third one ears, is the one that I, I always played when I was a kid. The blue lumberjack team managed to clear cut 128 acres of forest. 128. Considering they had to kill all them badgers to do it, eh? Badgers. The gold lumberjack team bless their hearts. Those boys chopped down 211 acres. Y'all hear that? 211 acres of progress. Almost brings a tear to my eye when I think about how much okay. wilderness y'all have tamed. Keep up the good work, fellas. Not long till we can start putting up those track homes. Yeah. Track homes. Track homes. I bet that's an old timey thing. I'm gonna steal this Canadian money. I can't believe they made up a new country like Canada just for this. Man. Medium nugget. Yeah. But yeah, the third. The third game was the one that I grew up with, and mm. uh, I'm very excited to play that one with you, because I have a lot of fond memories um, with my cousins playing that, yeah. and learning like how to do platforming games from that, basically. Mm. Boop. And it also it also gave me an idea of what Sly was. I played two. I mean, I played one, and then I played three. I think two is my favorite. Like unironically. Yeah. But the three just had this, you know, this thing three about just it. Feels, just feels right. It's nostalgic. It's they nailed the art 
for it. They nailed the, you know, the movements better. The tools are better. Like, I haven't used barely any of the tools. The thief tools, you know? Yeah. There's some that are actually nice super work. useful. The array's up and hmm. running. But we're going to get to that later. The music's... I mean, the music's good. Not both of them, I think. Yeah. There have been times where I've hummed both of them. Oh, but three takes away bottles. We won't have to worry about collecting those. Nope. And then four brings them back. Because okay. people missed them. Yeah. yeah. Tradition. Tradition. And whatnot. So guys, we're going to bring back... We're going to play four on this channel. And then we're going to play a, a fan favorite from our good buddy, Justin. Shopping. That might be useful for the lumberjack case. He suggested tie the test baby tiger. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice Ooh. wall. How are we supposed to get so to it? I this haven't episode seen for more global much of warming? that game at that all, really. industrial It's laser a good game. I, yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested. You're interested? I'm if interested, too. If it can be too. bounced out that window, Let's do with it. your help, mm -hmm. I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the bug. Melt the ice wall? How do I redirect so, that thing? There We're doing this on the other just for the purpose wall. of uh, getting a book. Head outside. Like right now, if I want a book, I could just like download a PDF. But they yeah. had to go through all this trouble of going into this laser-infested area. Whoop, that was close. Laser-infested area for the sole purpose of getting another laser to melt some ice. Like, okay. Chief. You can't just, like, break it out? Nope. Where did uh, I go? Okay. Forgot. I'm gonna bet it's down here, though. If I had one ability, I could do this silently. Take them all out. But I do not. And also, I wasn't paying attention to what we were doing in the first place. Oh, also, there's a safe. Oh, yeah. I mean, do you need all of the, uh... The all 30, yeah. The, uh, all 30. Where do I go from here? Attention all you fellas working the sawmill. Whoops. Make sure you keep a steady watch. The prowler's been spotted. And we can't not afford to have anything happen to our log-cut equipment. Particularly that laser-type saw blade. Okay, well... We're gonna need it. Certainly try. We them old oaks up near Lookout Mountain. Lookout Mountain? But hey, I know out. that place. Lookout Mountain. Lookout Mountain. I mean, how many people go. get to cut down forests for a living? That's oh, true. Oh, you all are lucky. Don't ever forget that. You all are lucky. Oh, Don't ever forget that. Alright, look at this. Oh. We have to walk yeah, on walk that. On the, on the blade, but not while it's active. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's dangerous, like. Sly, what are you doing? Don't worry, relax. In the third game, there's this weird, the laser's weird been thing at the end, out the window. and there's a lot of that. All right, walking so. on moving blades. Mm-hmm. And swords, and other such things that would make this level in particular very easy. But Grace, now to get that laser, laser pointed at the ice wall, mm. you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. <laughs> I see. I just walk to where the laser okay. stops, place a crystal, Why and it'll bounce that? the beam to a new uh -huh. position. That log chopping book You're is not as good as ours. Ace pickpocket here, Sly. <laughs> when did you do that, Bentley? When did also, you do why that? why crystals? Why not mirrors? Why not? Is that topaz? Also, the the thing is right there. The mm. book's like right over there. Yeah, why can't I just direct it more? That's a good question, Sly. Or focus it there. That's a good question, Sly G. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you. For I myself do not know. Also, uh. <laughs> yeah, I see. It hurts. In case anyone was wondering. I had to ex mm. I had to try it just for you guys to show you that yes it can indeed damage you. Yep, not because I didn't know or anything. Yep. 
cool, even cool. though you dove straight into it. It was obviously for example. It was, mm -hmm, yep, I couldn't have planned it better. Yep. Alright, what do you want from me? Oh. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. That's... Huh. That... Hmm. The further I get along in the game, the less I remember. And the less speedrun tech that I've seen. The more questionable it gets. Oh, I mean, it's been questionable since day one, I feel like. Yeah. God, see... God, all the way over there. It's even further away. It's even further away. Also, that bear is gargantuan. Isn't it, though? Okay, guy. Oh, literally, wow. it almost killed you. Literally. What the hell? He just okay. He just hates trying to get. Oh He's my filled God. with hate. Dude, just get, this will be the the new the new clockwork right here. Yeah, yeah. Just one stray hawk. Yeah, just one a eagle. bird swooping from the sky, killing the last Cooper. Oh yeah. After this one, there's no more. Whoops. You fool. After this, there'll be no more. He's it. That's a massive bear. Christ. It is, isn't it? Until he marries a fox. I stubbed my toe, Grayson. Um, yep. <laughs> God. <sighs> you fellas, you Sly Cooper stands out there. Whoops. Don't, don't. Think of it now, huh? <laughs> what do you think now? Um, God, nothing ever became of that either. There's this... Um, no, I'm not going to tell you. But something happens in the Lure. the very end of the third game. And, uh... Oh, Goose, don't, oh don't do that. The Spetsnaz Goose going after the bear. No, he, he was destined to lose. Oh my gosh. This bear is quite aggressive. He He's full of hate. I think he has a name, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna get to know him. But, uh, at the end of 3, someone gets something. And, oh boy, it would make this this a lot easier. A third jump can really make a make a game go go faster. Not that I uh, need that. I already have a third jump. Loser bear. Ow. Ouch. Oh my god, that was half, that was half my HP. <laughs> you hate to Don't see Don't worry, it. the, Sp the Spetsnaz ducks will handle it. Yeah, yeah. It's A-OK. -okay. Yeah. Whoops. You fool. I'm a fool. Oh my goodness. Oh, he almost sniped you. They do that. These moose are good shots. They're great at long distance, unlike dwarves. He's just showing off now. Yeah, this is style. Yeah. Pure style points. He's trying to form a pentagram. <laughs> show that the devil's here. Yeah, yeah. Just to mess with him. Benley, why did you want me to put these in a star shape again? To show that the, this place is cursed. The Canadians are naturally very, uh, they're clo they're closer to the they're closer to the cold, therefore closer to hell. That's true. Okay, finally. All right. It's not even. There's the book. There's the book right there. Oh. Wait, hold on. There it is. Right there. Ah. Uh, I see. We had to do all this and laser stuff. Something else to is bring coming it out of the right deep breeze. Oh my I've god. I've never seen such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that. He's back in the deep freeze. <laughs> wow. I thought it was gonna rampage and like Cheer bust up, the pal. door. We got the log chopping guys. But no. 